I'm Josie Foster and I run a company called Furnishing Studio. Please refer to the website if you want to know more. Here is a guide to soft furnishings. The first thing you do is get your curtain fabric stitched up into however many widths you're using and put flat face down onto the table you're working from. You then do exactly the same with the interliner and exactly the same with the lining. At the same time with the lining you're going to hem it by machine so that it's ready to install once you've put the interliner and the curtain together. The hand stitching of the interlining and the curtain is very important because you don't want the interliner to move about. So we need to hand stitch the edge of the Demet interliner to the fabric, to the curtain itself, with small stitches using the same colour thread as the fabric or as close a colour as, as you can. And you give the curtain what I call um, we call it a, a chicken's foot a chicken's foot stitch nice big ones and that will secure the edge of the line the edge of the interliner don't use double cotton because it'll show on the other side it is a good idea to single stitch the interliner to the base of the curtain fabric so that it doesn't move up and down and so that it keeps within the hem when in use. With the interliner we need to interlock it along the curtain vertically. So using the same colour thread and a single thread we actually stitch down the middle of the curtain nice big stitches not too tight and certainly not looping it as straight as you can down the middle of the curtain and every 50 centimetres on a, on a small curtain would be a good idea every 75 centimetres on a longer curtain is fine. Once we've stitched the curtain interliner to the fabric it's time to make the edges. So we turn the edges in, pin them and give them nice long tailor stitches down the edge making sure that the interliner is nice and flat before you actually do that and towards the edge of the curtain fabric about six centimeters in you do your nice long firm stitches Make sure that you only go into the interliner and you don't go right through the fabric because these stitches would then show on the face of your curtain, which would not be attractive. We're now ready to do the hem of the curtain and the corner, which is an important part. It's a good idea to trim off the interliner on the corner because otherwise it could become rather bulky and trim off the edge so that you can turn so that you can turn in the hem without it making it too bulky so we make the hem beyond the stitches that we've made to keep it in place so beyond those stitches, we make the hem. We can just see them 
They'll be on the back of the curtain so you won't notice them. And we make it nice and flat. And then we turn in that little piece that we had exposed beyond the interliner. We turn that in and we pin it whichever way to both or to one only. With the corner, you tuck in the corner itself, thereby making a 45 degree angled corner. You then tuck in the side corner. I've made it a bit long, that stitching at the edge, so I'm going to clip it out so that it gives me a straight edge. And then you tuck in that one. Bring that up and give it a nice mitered edge. Pin that down and pin the end there. That is then all hand stitched. Not that size, we want a nice hemming stitch. And we're going to use the same colour as the fabric again. If we want to put a weight in the corner, we slip that in, slip that in before you pin it, stitch it down, you've got the two holes there like a button, and then pin it back and hand stitch along that edge to there and all the way along on the interliner, making sure you do not catch both the fabrics. So we're stitching the hem, tucking the knot in, catching the interliner only and giving them medium sized stitches, not too tight, but nice and secure, evenly spaced stitches. So you've made your curtain with the interliner on the fabric. It's then after that that you put the lining on as normally and you also interlock the lining as you go along to the interliner only, not to both fabrics. And you hand stitch the lining to the edge at the same time making sure that you don't catch all the fabrics and you use a cream colored thread that matches the lining not the fabric of the curtain and then the heading is put on and that is how to make insulated curtains. <laughs>